chart here is just a performance uh, chart, year-to-date returns. And just wanted to show you where Bitcoin is. It's been the best performing asset this year. Um, and you can see where other... <laughs>
uh, rebound from the lows in October, just a, a massive rebound, and has transformed the year for uh, a lot of asset managers, either for the better or for the worse. Um, and if we're right, and inflation is going to uh, surprise on the low side of expectations, and growth disappoints, um, we'll be in a period where innovation does its best. Innovation solves problems. If you need uh, to protect your margins as your pricing power disappears, uh, then you need productivity enhancing technology. And with the uh, breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, and you know, we marvel all the time uh, uh, about the breakthroughs in AI as AI training costs drop 70% per year. Um, you know, there's a, a boom out there. And that is what happens when prices drop. And prices associated with disruptive new technologies always fall. So it's a perfect environment uh, for our companies to thrive. Uh, and I'll close right now by um, featuring uh, two uh, pieces we've put out recently. Uh, both of them, interestingly, are uh, on Bitcoin as, as we get ready for, uh, hopefully, uh, the SEC's approval of uh, a Bitcoin, a spot Bitcoin ETF. Um, we think it is going to happen. There are all kinds of signals that is going to happen. Uh, so in a timely way, um, we put out our Bitcoin monthly uh, in the last week. Uh, check out the health of the Bitcoin network uh, and the ecosystem broadly in that piece. And then uh, we just released uh, our latest Bitcoin brainstorm, uh, which uh, we are in a partnership with uh, the Bitcoin Park in Nashville, uh, Tennessee. And uh, those, uh, those are opportunities for us to showcase the developers out there who are making this new world happen. And, uh, and you'll get a sense of the depth and the breadth of expertise uh, as, um, as we introduce you to some of these important people. Uh, so uh, do tune in for that. And then finally, all of our analysts and directors are uh, working feverishly to put together our big ideas for 2024. And I guess I'll leave it there because the next time I do and in the know, we will be in 2024. So I want to wish you all uh, wonderful holidays with family and friends uh, and um, look forward to uh, gold to oil ratio. <clears throat> now, if you look at this one, uh, since, the, um, since 2014, you'll see that uh, it tends to spike. Uh, you saw it spike during 08, 09. Uh, it tends to spike when there's a fear of a crisis. In 2016, uh, there was, especially early that year, um, we were sure China was a bust, that the real estate bust was underway. That was a bit premature, uh, but you, you can see what happened to the gold uh, to oil ratio. During COVID, it skyrocketed. And you can see it's, uh, if you just look at the last eight to 10 years, is toward the higher end of a range if it, if it gets through 30, meaning uh, gold prices rise relative to oil more, uh, then there is probably some crisis brewing somewhere uh, that we, and, and as you can see in 2016, sometimes it's not right, but it's all about expectations. What's the psychology out there, especially as it relates to gold? And ARK Investments' application to open a Bitcoin exchange was the first thing the SEC put off. Traded fund on August 11, 2018. About eight weeks later, on September 26, 2018, the agency said it would need more time to decide whether to accept or reject a proposed rule change that would let the ARC 21 shares spot Bitcoin ETF work. The commission got an extra 60 days to think about ARC's application. The final limit was set for January 10, 2024, which is 240 days after the original date. 
Please leave your thoughts and comments below about what you thought of Kathy Wood's talk and what she thinks about Bitcoin. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to get more videos. Thank you for watching.